Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure BGP in Cisco SD-WAN. So this is our existing topology. So I'm going to configure uh, BGP in VH3 under the uh, services VPN that is your VPN 10. So this is our LAN VPN. So I have already configured OSP of between this uh, VH3 and this uh, router which is a LAN router. CSRV uh, virtual router. So now over that I'm going to configure a BGP between them. So to configure BGP we have to configure the feature template. I'm going under configuration templates. We can go to feature templates and then click on add template. I'm going to do it for uh, VH cloud. And after that uh, you can see uh, under the other templates you can see the BGP. I'm going to give the name BGP template one. So first of the basic configuration, this given no shutdown. AS number is device specific, it's already given. Router ID, again I'm going to make it device specific. I'm going to make it for VPN 10. and uh, propagate the AS path it's always better to propagate the AS path so in the, I'm giving that and read under this um, unicast address family you can see redistribute so I'm going to click on new redistribute globally I'm redistributing all the OMP routes I'm not giving any um, route policy I'm going to click add So under neighbor, I'm going to add a new neighbor. Again, it's going to be device specific for your VPN 10. Again, remote device by default it is already taken uh, device specific. And you have uh, other advanced options also there. Like uh, nest hop self, I'm going to give globally nest hop self on send community. I'm just leaving uh, as it is. Source interface, I'm not changing anything. I'm leaving as it is. If you want to set EBGP multi hop password, all the things you can change here. So I'm not doing anything here. I'm just making nest hop self only under the advanced option and then clicking add. And that's it. So I'll just give you a quick view of what we have done. So AS number was already there. Router ID we given device specific. AS path propagate I kept it on. And under uh, address family unicast uh, under IPv4, I clicked on the redistribute. And then we are redistributing the OMP routes that we receive from our OD network. And then under neighbor, we added one neighbor for VPN 10 that we will enter when it's asking the details. Rest everything is same. Whole timer already keep alive 60. That's it. I'm going to save this now. So our feature template is save BGP template one. Now we go under the devices. You can see VH3 OSF template. This is the template we used for uh, VH3. You can say VH3 site ID 13. So under this we can simply add BGP. I'm going to edit this template and click on the service VPN because we are going to enable BGP there and you can see it is already having OSPF. I'm going to click on additional VPN templates BGP. So click we already created this BGP template just now select that one and then update. Now you can see it's grayed out because we have to enter the details and this three dots click and then edit device template. Only the BGP related things will be there. So I'll just show you what is the BGP configuration on the LAN router. Show run partition router BGP. The AS number I given is 65511. So this is our BGP configuration. 
IP interface brief. So my local IP is 192.168.20.2 and uh, my neighbor is uh, 20.1 that is my uh, VH3 uh, LAN interface IP. So now I'm configuring in um, this is template is for VH3 and is asking the AS number. So AS number is same. It's IBGB session. So 655.11. Router ID I'm going to give my own interface IP. So that will be this one 20.1 .1. that is the interface IP in EVH3 and uh, this is the address PGB VP internet neighbor address so the neighbor address will be my interface I mean this land router interface IP that is 20.2 20.2 and then the remote AS that is also six double five double one. So that's it. I given the AS number and then the BGP router ID, neighbor address, and the remote AS number. I'm going to update this. So now we can see the green check here. I'm going to give next. Click on it's getting applied to VH3. We'll wait and see what is the config difference. So I'm going to config diff. So under VPN 10, you can see already router was PF is there. I'm just adding a BGP 65511 router ID, propagate AS, address family, redistribute OMP, and then the neighbor 20.2, no shutdown, remote AS, nest of self. So this is the config you're going to push to VH3. I'm going to click on configure. So it is pushing now. Yeah, now you can see it is successfully pushed the configuration. So now I'm in uh, the LAN router. I'm just checking the show BGP summary. I can see uh, the neighborship has come up and uh, show IP BGP. And you can see this 192.168.10.1 is my VH1 IP and uh, this VH2 IP. And this is my CH4 IP. All I'm receiving under uh, BGP now. So now let's go to uh, VH3. I'm just checking show BGP neighbor. Now we can see the entry is there. So now I'm in the LAN router. So I have this uh, loopback interfaces and I have redistributed uh, the directly connected routes uh, into our uh, BGP and uh, we can also see those routes are getting learned in uh, VH3. In the CLI we can see that. That is coming from the nest of 20.2. This is just to make sure the BGP session is up and uh, it is exchanging the routes via BGP. So now let's verify that in the vManage also. Going to monitor networks. Going to VH3. I'm going to the real time. So here let's type BGP. All the BGP related uh, outputs will come here. So BGP routes. I can see all the BGP routes coming from our uh, LAN router. We can see here. BGP neighbor also will come. Okay, we can see the BGP neighbor messages. And state is established. So that's how we configure a BGP in uh, Cisco SD-WAN.